Hi, I'm Kavitha, and I work at Biolegend, where we produce reagents that enable research discoveries. This is the first in a series of videos where we'll take you on an in-depth tour of Biolegend's latest scientific posters and discuss the innovations we've created. B cells are one of the most important lymphocytes in the immune system, as they're responsible for antibody production. In the pre-B cell stage, CD20 begins to be expressed and will continue to be expressed until it differentiates into a plasma cell. While CD20 is a marker of your average B cell, it's unfortunately also associated with several malignancies. Anti-CD20 antibodies are used to treat autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis and multiple sclerosis. In addition, these antibodies have also been used in certain B cell lymphoma treatments. BioLegend now offers a new anti-mouse CD20 antibody clone, SA271G2. A single dose of this antibody was sufficient to deplete 95% of the B cells present in the peripheral blood, spleen, and lymph nodes of mice. This effect was maintained for 20 days, with recovery occurring by day 50. Other cell populations remained unaffected. For this experiment, we used an ultra-leaf format of the antibody. LEAF stands for low endotoxin azide-free, and our ultra-leaf product is guaranteed to have under 0.01 endotoxin units per microgram of protein. This format is ideal for in vivo work in order to ensure that azides and endotoxins do not affect the outcome of your experiments. We injected C57 black 6 mice intravenously with 250 micrograms of our ultra-leaf purified antibody, clone SA271G2, or the corresponding isotype. Organs were harvested along time points for analysis by flow cytometry and immunofluorescence. As early as day 7, we found that the populations of immature B cells were depleted in the bone marrow. In the flow plot shown here, you can see that our immature B cells, as noted by high CD45R and CD19 expression, have virtually disappeared in comparison to the isotype control treatment. The other bone marrow B cell developmental stages were unaffected. The same effect on B cell depletion could be seen in secondary lymphoid organs. As seen in the spleen, which is section A on the left, and lymph nodes, which is section B on the right, B cells have virtually been eliminated. In the spleen, the B cell population drops from 68% to 2%, and similarly in the lymph nodes, it drops from 55% to 1%. We investigated the spleen further for the different B cell populations, including newly formed marginal zone and follicular B cells. All three populations saw an extreme drop in their overall numbers. Within the follicles, both naive and germinal center B cells also saw sharp decreases in their populations. In this next figure, you'll see some of our multicolor microscopy work. CD19 is indicated in red, CD3 in teal, CD11B in yellow, F480 in blue, and CD169 in green. While you can see a large population of red CD19 positive cells in the isotype controlled treatment, virtually all of these cells are absent on the right, where mice were treated with clone SA271G2. The peritoneal cavity is also important to study as there are resident populations known as B1 cells, in addition to conventional B2 cells. B1 cells are an important source of IgM, providing early protection and are noted by their expression of CD5. They self-replenish in the peritoneum and are rarely seen in the spleen or lymph nodes. B2 cells are the conventional B cells that are replenished from the bone marrow. With the SA271G2 treatment, there is some diminishment of the B2 population in the peritoneum, but it was minimal compared to the severe depletion of the B cell groups seen in the spleen and lymph nodes. It is possible that this is due to the fact that the injection was done intravenously rather than through the peritoneum. Having shown the ability of our clone to deplete B cells, we now wanted to look at the kinetics and time course of this treatment. After 24 hours, the depletion is already taking hold in the peripheral blood, dropping numbers from 74% to 7%. After 48 hours, B cells are down to 0.7%. This B cell depletion remained in hold until the mouse naturally began to recover over the course of time by generating new B cells. A full recovery of B cells happened at about the 50-day mark post-antibody treatment. Our new clone, SA271G2, was extremely effective in depleting B cell subsets from the bone marrow, peripheral blood, spleen, and lymph nodes, and with just a single dose. Other cell types like T cells and macrophages were unaffected. 
This depletion lasted for four weeks, and the B-cell populations eventually rebounded. Clone SA271G2 is thus a new tool for researchers studying B-cell responses or looking to eliminate B-cell groups without the need for genetically modified mice.